Yesterday we reported right here about the solicitor's office and SLED working together to raid what they consider illegal gambling parlors in Orie and Georgetown counties. Solicitor Greg Hembree's comments that SLED will raid, make arrests, and confiscate machines from the businesses sparked outrage from local sweepstakes businesses. While some county magistrates deemed sweepstakes machines legal, SLED maintains they are illegal and basically warned anyone who plays the machines they too could be arrested in the planned raids. And as you can imagine, that news was not exactly good for business at local sweepstakes cafes. In fact, as News 13's Amy Vetrano reports, the owner of one such business takes offense to Solicitor Hembree's comments and says he's already been through the battle to prove that his business is legal. We had our television that we leave on on Channel 13, and uh, when the news article came out, it got everyone's attention, basically, and uh, several people got up and left. Buster Gunter owns two sweepstakes shops in eastern South Carolina. Gunter says one of his businesses donates the vast majority of its profits to the Waccamaw Animal Rescue Mission, and that's what makes it legal. What they do on those terminals means absolutely nothing. I already know whether or not they're a winner at the time they make their donation. Gunter says people at both stores were afraid after hearing 15th Circuit Solicitor Greg Hembree's comments of possible arrest for playing sweepstakes machines. The players need to know that they may be subject to criminal liability just as much as the operators. I mean, that's a critical thing for them to know. His words carry power. Fear is very easy. Fear can be ingested very easy. It's, it's and he struck fear amongst the people of Orion Georgetown County last night. Gunter's business has already been through the judicial system. A judge has ruled that it is legal according to South Carolina law. In fact, they keep the ruling on the wall in the business to show everybody it is okay. We've already been through due process. We've already been tried in the courts. Georgetown County already told us that we were legal. Mm -hmm. And for him to make a statement on public TV, doesn't matter what was said earlier, we're gonna go do it again. I believe there are constitutional rights there that he's violating. Gunter spoke with his attorney about getting a temporary restraining order or asking for an injunction against the solicitor's office. He says it would be to keep his patrons and employees safe, although he's not sure if they would be. So at this point, I don't have any reassuring words for them. You know, we're legal, we've been through the process. I, if that's not enough, then that's really all I can offer. I don't have anything else I can offer them. In Merle's Inlet, Amy Vitrano, News 13. However, Solicitor Hembree told Amy that he thought it was irresponsible to not warn people ahead of the planned raids. He also said he doesn't even know if SLED's going to look at the magistrate's ruling that Mr. Gunner displays at his business. We'll, of course, keep you covered right here on News 13.